Hello, this is Edward with Edward Snow Nature Photography. I'm uh, going to produce a short little video today. It's about macro photography. In particular, um, it's probably not real close up, but it's still considered macro photography on my camera right here, which is the Nikon D810. I like this, it has 36 megapixel sensor. Uh, it takes great images. Um, I have the 85 millimeter tilt shift lens and I'm going to show you what I do with that as I'm taking pictures. I'm going to turn this on here and uh, change this to video mode and uh, record this so you get an idea of what I am uh, taking a picture of here. This is uh, I don't know the exact genus and species of this, but this is a fantail, and it's a type of a fungus. It's growing on a birch stump in my backyard here. On, uh, for those of you who don't know me and have never followed the channel before, I uh, live in uh, central southeast Alaska. And uh, I'm surrounded, my property is surrounded with uh, birch and spruce. And we have different types of spruce. We have the white spruce and we have the black spruce. And of course, all the flora and fauna that goes along with that. And uh, this uh, birch stump was cut off sometime before I purchased the property. But we have this fungus growing on it, which I think is uh, very beautiful. And I wanted to, I've been wanting to take a picture of this for a while. So uh, I decided to uh, share this with you. So when I do this, I am going to shut that off. I am going to uh, walk you through setting up my lens. Now, like I said, this is a tilt shift lens and I have it set to uh, it's tilted. Let me show you. If, uh, let me see if I can show you this uh, using this camera. Um, there it is. It's uh, tilted right there. And what that does is that effectively changes the plane of focus on my camera. So since this camera isn't directly right above this turkey tail plane of focus has shifted to where I'll get a better depth of field. Now, I don't know if you've heard of diffraction or not. Diffraction basically, uh, as you stop down or go to what we call a larger f-stop as far as number, not opening, number, light rays get bent more and that causes diffraction and it leads to images that would normally be tack sharp and being soft, especially around the edges. To try to prevent that, I'm not stopping down all the way. Now this particular lens will stop down to F51. I'm not going down that far. I go to F25, which is probably a sweet spot for this lens, it's halfway down. And this is a macro lens, an 85 millimeter macro, and it gives me one half life size. Okay, so it's not a true macro in the fact that it gives you a one for one. This goes down to only one half life size. But uh, I am focused, ready to go. And to, how do I know if I'm focused? I go ahead and I zoom in and I use the focusing ring to make it a little bit tighter. I use the back screen try to get where I want as far as being focused sharply then I'm going to take a picture and I have it set on timer mode so I'm going to go ahead and press the picture I mean press the shutter release okay and that looks really good Check that out again. Go in. Looks pretty sharp to me. 
I always double check. Um, I guess you could call it pixel peeping, but I just want to make sure that everything is in focus. Okay, so I'm going to take one more picture. I'm going to refocus. Make sure it's where I want it to be. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit older now, so I have to have these bifocals on. Basically, uh, the reading glasses. I see fine far away I have 2020 vision when it comes to looking at the screen these eyes have changed a lot or especially the last year so I have to use these glasses to go ahead and help me focus and look at this make sure it's um, tack sharp and it looks good to me so I'm going to reshoot this image Okay, so I have two images now. Now I'm gonna go over, and I'm probably gonna take and crop this down to uh, square format. Uh, crop out some of the areas on the side. And um, I'm gonna take you over and I'm gonna take some pictures of some birch leaves. And I told you I was in, um, around my property is birch and coniferous forest. And we have passed the time of fall peak season. And all the leaves are pretty much falling down. But uh, you could even find beauty in that. So I'm going to go over here and find a pattern that I like in the leaves. And I'm gonna take a picture of that and I'll share that with you also. So come along with me as I walk over there. down see the foundation of my house I found uh, in uh, the sleeves I found a yellow leaf that kind of interests me so I'm going to concentrate on that. Go ahead and focus. I'm going to use the LCD screen to help me with this. I found that yellow leaf. I'm going to place it down in kind of one corner, a little bit off centered. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to focus in, make sure everything is tight sharp as can be yeah you know, always double check remember in the boy scouts they teach you to measure twice and cut once always go make sure that it's sharp as can be before i trip the shutter so i'm gonna go back out i think i looks that looks nice now i'm shooting this in uh, aperture priority you know these cameras nowadays have such sensitive uh, metering systems uh, for you know, measuring light. I don't worry about it too much unless it's like a backlit scene or uh, a scene that has maybe high contrast or so forth and, uh, and that can be your camera can be fooled. But with this everything being brown close to 18% gray I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to worry about the focus because everything else will be okay. just let the dog out so here we go now I'm going to change the composition just a little bit rotate the camera some on the tripod and here we go again for the second image I want to thank you for coming along. I uh, hope I uh, 
help you out, understand what I do. You know, nature photography, and in particular macro photography, go around and look and see things that are pleasing to the eye or things that are unusual that might spark some people's interest, and that's what I would concentrate on. You uh, will see the small intricate details in nature, and those are the things that I try to share with other people. So I hope this has been informative for you and that uh, you'll get out there and shoot some macro pictures. Uh, and until next time, this is Edward Snow, and I'll see you outside.